So coming to case number 3, he is a 76 year old male, uh, diabetic and hypertensive, uh, presented with effort dyspnea, NYHA class 2, with a good LV function, NGO revealed heavily calcified lesion in proximal to mid LAD and mid RCA. Syntax score is 17 and today's plan is uh, LAD stenting uses, uh, using ROTA and or IVL under OCT guidance. RCA will be staged on a later date and circumflex might be done today if time permits. These are the angiographic views. Uh, heavily calcified uh, proximal to mid LED and uh, uh, mid circumflex lesion. This is the RCA which will be dealt at a later date. Over to the cat lab. Hello, can you hear me? Very well. Uh, hey, Mauricio, good hey, morning, pleasure. my friend. Good morning, good morning. So, first session uh, was a bit uh, uh, tiring for you guys. <laughs> but uh, again, yeah, 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 let us see, scout. Yeah, uh, this case, he patient was refused surgery in view of, I for forgot to mention in the history, patient has ILD and surgeons refused and that's why, you know, I am taking up this case. My choice would have been surgery otherwise in this case. So I, I see mm -hmm. Tejas that you are now back with six French. The other two cases were done with seven French, now we're at six French. Yeah. <laughs> the RCA I did, first one was six French and uh, LMC, LMCA bifurcation was seven and this is six French Ibu. Yeah. I am taking some views. Heavy calcium, I think you guys agree. Uh, my plan will be uh, to rotablate. I am not going to touch a very distal lesion, no way. I am going to touch only the required area. Uh, uh, my plan is, you know, because I can even thread the rota wire straight, but uh, the, there are many young guys and I don't want wrong signals to go to them. So I am not using straight away rota wire. I am using fine cross and uh, run through to start with and then I will exchange it on rota because rota being an uncoated wire at times it can get trapped in the calcium trackability can be a problem and one to one torque is an issue. So what bear are you planning to use? 1.5? 1.25 not even 1.5 because I know the behavior of these arteries apicordal now yeah, but and then it can create problem. But don't you worry, uh, Tejas, that the 1 to 5 is the one that usually gets stuck because of the configuration of the burn? Uh, no, my plan is not to debulk with rota. My plan is to do plaque modification with rota because once it is done, I will dilate it with a non-compliant balloon. Then I will do a good IVL and then I will take a OCT run to show how the things behave. Inst yeah, mo mo uh, 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 instead of uh, you know just going for an IVL, could you step up your birth? I mean, your uh, 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 Fazila, uh, the artery has a diffuse calcium, and uh, doing too much of rotablation, I am afraid that I will create a no no reflow situation. So that's the reason my plan is very clear in this case. So you're doing the one two five. Yes. And yes. You want to make sure you crack before you using IVL or you go to IVL? Yeah, because I want the you know best possible minimal stent area in this patient. Mm -hmm. Because my stent I am sure even the proximal distal age also is going to be inside the calcium. And yeah. there is ten percent chance that most of the calcium in some of the cases over here in the arteries we have seen that most of the calcium may be in adventitia, but chances are less. Here I am expecting three hundred and sixty degree at many places. Yeah, so pretty agreed um, the okay. role for rotor blader is that not to make the perfect re result. Yeah. Just a one to Yeah, this is a fine cross a this is a fine cross catheter. I am going in. I am going in. Okay. I am going in. Okay. Right. Now Sanjay will remove okay fine Sanjay. We, Sanjay will remove this uh, run through and we are using rota floppy wire. 
So John, the rotor far P and the rotor extra support, any mm -hmm. in what situation do you use it? I think if you deliberately looking to create wire bias, you would use the uh, rotor extra support. Is that a mic a little closer, please? Hello. Dr. Kapala, could you keep, keep the mic a little closer, yeah. please? Yeah, John, you are, avoid, you are not heard there. That's what he says. You can keep the mic near, yeah. I think that if you were looking to deliberately create wire bias, you would use the stiffer rotor wire. I think in a case like this, you don't really want to do that. You want to use a rotor floppy, and I use that most of the time. I think with CSI, since you have a stiffer wire, you tend to have bias most of the time. Yeah, I think yeah for some strict cases, uh, flat P probably ninety nine percent, ninety five percent we use. Yeah, uh, you don't have the rotate uh, orbital here, eh, TJ? No, 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 no or orbital ethrectomy uh, we don't have. How how is your experience start with orbital ethrectomy? Yeah, I uh, we did a lot of uh, orbital, and I think for this uh, strict vessel in the okay. LED, you're working really well too. Um, hmm. The advantage for orbital, I think, very easy now to set up. You can have a fun, fun ablated and back ablated, so the chance for you to stop the bird is a very, very low. Now Sanjay has removed. Uh, uh, CSI wire is uh, a little bit more talkable than the rotor flap. Micro catheter. Yeah, absolutely. The, they had a new wire coming out for the CSI wire. It's a very, very friendly. Uh, the rotor far PY is still very difficult to negotiate the band, the tortuosity. But one question, orbital, don't you think it's not that suitable for coronary arteries of this part of the world, very narrow caliber vessels here, right? And with orbital, do you think that might be an issue, the narrow caliber vessels? Like for this, uh, Dr. Patel has chosen a 1.25 bird. Yeah. Uh, I think the orbital is okay in this case. It doesn't seem now. to be very, very uh, difficult to get it down. As we say, the orbital is a one, two, five. Rotor if you do eighty uh, rem per second, we will create similar lumen with the rotor. And if there's someone has a bigger vessel, four vessel, we can just uh, increase the speed to about hundred twenty and you can create a bit, better, bigger lumen. You don't need to upside the bird. So there's a definitely some advantage for orbital. Um, for rotational, I think the, the speed is good. You can ablate it a little, little bit good, uh, but as I say, you just want to create some crack of the calcium, and this is an end point. What do you think, John? Yeah, I mean, I, I think you're using roto here just to modify the lesion enough to allow you to do something else. You know, I think you're modifying the lesion here to allow you to Plus put in a speak. shock balloon Hello. or Bye. use a high pressure balloon and try to deflate it. Okay, sir, I can leave. Yeah, now. Yeah, like where is the, where is the pedal? Yeah, for so all those beginners for rotational ethectomy, yeah. a few important steps. You know, we have to use uh, all the time a solution which goes on constantly flushing. The solution is a saline with five, 5,000 units of heparin, 500 micrograms of nitroglycerin, and five milligrams of biltiazam kept in the pint and which constantly gives a flush over here. That is one. Secondly, I will check Dyna. Dyna on and off. Okay, I have done that. Then I will, I will adjust the rota speed. I'm going to keep it at 150,000. Mm -mm. It's 150,000 no. your regular uh, speed? For yeah, to start with. Oh, it's not working? What has happened? I think it's a very good speed to start with, one, 150. Um, it's not a high speed. Nowadays, I think we tend to use a low speed rotor. Uh, 150, I think most people will use mm. for 125. I don't like to go at a very high speed, correct. except when the lesion is very, very resilient. Yeah, correct. But we using low speed, you just want to make sure you do a good rotor, good, uh, good technique. Otherwise, the bird will stop. Yeah. 
Do you have enough pressure there for the? Do you have enough uh, air pressure there in the? Yeah, that's what he's stuff? checking. He, he checked right it in the morning. Pressure through. Yeah, he checked it in the morning. He's checking again. Yeah, this is the drawback for rotor. You need a, a nitrogen tank to create a good pressure. Uh, okay. For orbital, you just mm. need to do electrical. You don't need the tank. Um, Supposing so if at all if it doesn't work, then what? Then I will do aggressive balloon dilatation and then IVL. Okay. So and this is a back now. Back the back pressure plan. is better. The pressure seems to be sure. better now. Yeah, I am. Should I check? Yes. Dyna on. Dyna off. Okay. Let me see. Can you test? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now it's better now. Okay, that's fine. Huh? I'm going in. You know, again, one of the things you're doing when you're testing is platform and the speed, so but you're also, looking, you're also looking Straight to make sure that you're getting an increase in the flush. Ah, that should increase. increase, and then once you get to the tip of the guide catheter, you're going to platform to get shape, your speed. Yeah. Long. Yeah, that's very important. You test the bird outside of the patient. Uh, so you, you don't want any hiccup when you do uh, okay. when so, you so, so the patient. Have you tried the advancing with Dynaglide, that applying the brake in the back, I mean releasing the brake and just going by Dynaglide? The wire Dynaglide while coming back I always apply. Yeah, While but going, I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> no, but, but but going in, yes. you can use uh, you can use you can release yes. the brake. You can, and then yeah. you can do it like a single operator Correct. because yeah. the wire doesn't move. Correct. Yeah, we do that. I mean, going in, do. going out, we yeah. always use dynamite. You, you don't even have to hold the wire. Yeah. So Correct. so now I will just check the coaxiality of my guide for all those beginners, because you have to be careful. I think it looks good. And now I like to push it in on my own. Okay. 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 Jump. Yeah. Yeah. Now, come to epicranial. Let me see where am I? Uh, how before I am? You know. Uh, yeah. You see the issue Starting with the, the, with the issue with the good. 125 bird is that it looks like a bullet as opposed to like a rugby. <laughs> Rugby ball. I'm saying that for uh, Rajiv right. Gulati, who's an Englishman. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. American we have American to football. We have to make sure the tension of the bird is uh, released first before we roll down. Okay. Yeah. There is a lot of adventitious calcium. Even before having a look with yeah. OCT, I tell you. But there is a calcium, a calcium which is a lot of advent in adventitia. Because I can't expect this to go so easily otherwise. <laughs> yeah. You need to apply the proximal part too, right? Pachu. Looks like the proximal part you need to apply. A AP cordal, my job. Yeah, yeah, AP cordal. No. no. I am always worried about the guide catheter position while I am doing rota scout, Karsanjay. Is it okay? Yeah, just check it. All right. Huh? Ah, chal. Go to AP cranial quickly. You know, there is some ST elevation there. Yeah. 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 That's how you end up getting yeah, trapped. Yeah, the guy, it's yeah, more of a pecking motion and coming back proximal to the lesion. Hmm. I think the guy is a little bit deep seat. TJ, right? Yeah. You want to get a guy out a little bit? Okay. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. What happened? You can you see the burst stuck a little bit. Well, go to AP quarter, no yeah. problem. We are still and in the TJ game. And TJ, get you out. And that's an issue with 1.25. I mean, uh, getting okay. a Kokoshi effect is, uh, chances are always higher. Yeah. So okay. that's very careful Go when you start at 1.25. You really want to put the burp before the blockage first. Just okay. inject and see first. I don't think, uh, you know... Uh, yeah, I think the bird... But it has burnt the right area, I suppose. Huh? Things, I don't 
So we need a better picture. But uh, in that case, I need to remove this. Yeah, we move the bird yeah, out. Bird. Yeah, I am going on Dynaglide. On, let me remove. Yeah, the Y go forward, the bird go backward in Dynaglide. Hey, Sanjay, 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 go. So would you like to upsize the bird? No. Because I exactly know what can go wrong yeah. with higher size bar. And another thing. Pressure is good. Heavily, is good. heavily calcified lesions, you know, uh, we even don't preload them with Brillanta. If at all some major perforation happens and if I have to send the patient for surgery, it's a problem. So we perennize them well. Chalo. I think uh, we, we should be fine, let me tell you. Now, let me go in with the run through. I will uh, pass it side by side, or you want to use that, uh, this? Just you pass by side by side. Okay. Yeah, side by side will save yeah. you time. Yeah. Go to epicordal. So, John, tell me some trick if the bird is stuck. Any trick you're going to take that out? We did a couple times before, remember. I guess the first thing to think about is that the tip of the rotor burr wire is a, a 14, the burr hole is a 10. So if you're really stuck, you pull the wire all the way back, it's not going to come through the burr, and then you're going to try to give it a yank. Uh, you know, if it's still not coming, one of the things to do is to try to pass a wire beyond the burr and then put a small balloon, like a 1-0 or 1-5 balloon, and blow it up to see if you have enough Go room to, to pull it back. There was one occasion where we took the roto flush, which is a viscous collusion, and instead of diluting it, just took 10 cc's and put it right down the guide catheter, which lubricated the artery enough to loosen the burr. But I think the first thing is to pull the wire all the way back to the tip. You can remove this. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If the burr stuck, the first thing is to put the wire back, uh, some just stuck in the burr, and then we activate the device and now pull it out. Now what is the panel thinking? What is the panel doing if the burst up? Any consensus? What you do first? Uh, 2.5. 2.5. <laughs> Mauricio? Yes, I, I agree with uh, John's uh, assessment. So hmm. uh, usually what I do is I, yeah, I try to pull a little bit stronger. You, you, put it, you can you put a little bit of Dynaglide uh, just to ease uh, the... Uh, Mm -hmm. There is a tension or activate That's without Dynaglide. And then if the wire 15. is really stuck, I think it's, um, you can also use, um, you can cut the, I mean, if things, worse comes to worse, you can cut the, the shaft of the burr and advance the guide liner. And then yep. the guide liner will allow you to get closer to the burr and probably uh, release and uh, help you release. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think the cut the burr um, is the last solution. But this uh, this is a six French guy. That maybe need a five um, one two five bird. Um, no, you, with a six, six French guy, five with six, French. Yeah. With a six French, you can pass up to a one seven five bird. Yeah, yeah. one seven okay. five so will be little tight. Right. One point yeah. five will be perfect. Covered. Yeah. But once they cut the bird, we can put a six French gazilla down this. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think to get a 175 burr through a six French guide, you're going to have to dynaglide it through the guide. I think the most important thing also is to burp the burr when you're trying to dislodge it. If you sustain, spin it, you'll get a perforation if it's stuck. So this is a, what, 2 by 15? So 2 by 15 and see emerge? Huh? Yeah, so I am using it to dilate it and then I will be using 2.5 lithotripsy. Bef before that I will do 1 OCT. So why do you dilate first before going out? Why don't you go with the IVL now? Uh, working so much with this type of arteries, I have realized that I have to remove it at, at, at times and again do this the same thing. That's why. Uh, because uh, you, uh, let us see. Let us see. Yeah. So instead of uh, IVL, uh, a scoring or a cutting balloon, do you think that would uh, do a trick? The, the, the literature up to an extent says that uh, IVL gives, you know, uh, in some of the cases, the best of the MSA. 
uh, uh, scoring and cutting balloon yeah wolverine also can be used uh, i i v l by mechanism it will pulverize you know uh, the calcium over there and it allows the stand to expand well that's what they say but again there are some limitations like uh, uh, you know nodule and the other thing is in a heavily calcified bad segment moving ivl balloon is also a problem and that's why i am i am i am doing all this preparation teachers are you ever surprised in oct that uh, the calcium is not where you think it is that it might be but more that is what i am telling you the first run i took and i am realizing that most of the calcium looks to me like adventitial so let us see so after this uh, nc balloon do you plan to take your ivers catheter down uh, oct here OCT. here i will because we need tissue characterization and i think oct will give better tissue characterization check it so thinking ahead what do you think look is at this yeah. look at this look better. at this looking better yeah, good. I so don't think just anticipating what's, com what's coming next, what do you think is going to be in, the standard? In 1991, we'll we would have stopped at this point, teachers. Pardon? I, I Mauricio, what's the question again? No, what do you think is the stand that will best navigate through all the calcium and the tortuosity? Because it's not going to be easy, and maybe you should probably have, we say, have on deck a Guidezilla, Guideline, or Guiding Catheter right. Extension. Guideline yeah. or Guidezilla with this small artery and so much of calcium, yeah. I will have my reservation. There is a good chance mm -hmm. if you dissect left main, the, the dissection can extend in the aortic root. Um, there's a one consideration. But I think the experience for the rotor, usually the stand can very smoothly go down. What do you think, John? I, I, I tend to agree with you, Tack. I think that sometimes there are probably spicules of calcium sticking up from the endothelium and that catch in the stent. And with the burr, you sort of break them up and it allows the stent to go down. And maybe instead of a guideline, if you had to, you could always start off with a buddy wire. The other thing that works sometimes is a uh, wiggle. Dr. Tejas, yeah. uh, as you said, the most of the calcium looks to be adventitial. This is so my, this is my, <laughs> Anmul, this is my prediction, your presumption. Yeah. I may not be right, but <laughs> let me see. So do you think uh, this case AP would have been done only with IVL without uh, rota? Uh, but that I do not, did, you know, if it, you see the NGO and you don't realize that. <laughs> you realize that you can't do it because... Uh, uh, IVL balloon, pushing IVL balloon in a throughoutly diffusely calcified segment like this can be a challenge. You're already having difficulties advancing see, the, see, the, OCT, yeah. Yeah. the OCT. So that's why I was saying that yeah. anticipating what stent is important because yeah. now I if you do the IVL um, inject. Well, I think I think the vessel may not prep it, there is a dissection there. We need to prep the Yeah, there's there a long a dissection. dissection. Yeah. Yeah. We need to prep the lesion better. So. It's a dissection, but you also have the, the front part of the catheter, so you may be a little bit. Correct. Yeah. I mean. I don't think we have bored the proximal LED segment. We have just bored from mid to distal. Yeah, so proximal LED was not bored. And no. even the balloon also was not done. Was also not done. So no. I think we need to. Uh, I wanted to stand as less as possible area in this situation. I think we will dilate here, yeah. Sanjay. Do a and we will dilate better. with a 2.5 non compliant balloon, 2.5 by 12 or 15 NC track. Any plan for uh, rota in proximal lesion, Tejasbhai? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. No, I will not do that because I see dissection there. It can close the artery. 12. 12. Inject current So it looks okay. It looks okay. Yeah, there's a dissection in the middle part, right? Yeah. Or some. Or the there could be a calcific nodule in that region which is preventing that part of the catheter and it yeah, is, it is, the head is hitting the there. Yeah. Yeah. Chalo, chalo. Balloon.
হবে फ्लूड आप दस ओके डिफ्लेट पार्डन फोर्टीन नो पॉइंट अदरवाइज यू नो गो अप राइट डिफ्लेट Yeah. I've been in labs Is where they only the look at like balloons to odd pressures and stents to even pressures not to get confused. Do you do that down in, in Miami? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question, John? I've been in labs where they will inflate balloons yeah, this only to odd area. numbers and stents to even numbers so they don't get confused on that paperwork. <laughs> Is that something that you do in Miami? No, I don't think so. <laughs> But what we have noticed is that whenever I take one of those uh, balloons to like 26 yeah. atmospheres, because you can take any four I and see right. huh? to like 26 atmospheres, then when you deflate the balloon, the yes. balloon will be stuck yeah. in the wire. Uh, and many, many, many times you end up pulling the wire because uh, the balloon. Absolutely, looks yes, that is a feature, okay. right? When you go very high, then it sort of tightens on. It sort right. of holds the wire. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes I, so when I need to do it, I do it, but. Sometimes I I have all I like the high pressure inflation. High potential? Okay. Let's see. What's the maximum pressure you inflate, Mauricio? In your history, in a NC balloon. How, what is the highest pressure? <laughs> yes. You go? Oh, I I I go to 30. I I've, I've been to 30 atmospheres. 30. Yeah. Okay. Those uh, euphora, the the NC balloons are very resilient. The problem yeah. is that the um, you know the high. I mean, there's some damage to the hypo tube that clamps on the wire, and then you cannot slide the balloon over the wire. I mean, that's the purpose of the NC balloon. You have to go to high pressures exactly. for it to work. Yeah, and then the other thing is that I also like the the, the short balloons, uh, like the six millimeter balloons, because those concentrate the pressure very well and do sequential inflations. But here in I see that the balloons are expanding relatively well. In what and, uh, in what point you worry about perforation? Hmm? I mean. The higher pressure we do, is a more chance to get perforation. Well, yeah, no, I'm not sure. I think it's a it's a mix of a high pressure and, and oversizing, and um, you know, and when you don't predict that there's calcium spikes of calcium, because what's going to perforate Nuclear. is when you um, push Because a spike of now. calcium through the vessel. Go to AP cranial, please. So it's much I better to. Nothing. Modify the plaque first before we balloon. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, and I internal calcium. And my sequence usually is uh, my usual my is rot a rotational atherectomy okay. followed by IVL. Okay. The problem with that IVL is, is that the device is very high okay. profile okay. and it usually doesn't work when you most need Go to AP quadal. So it looks like OCT catheter is there. The now, survey right? mode, huh? Not the high definition mode. We have to go to survey mode because it will measure around 72 millimeter of length. Okay. Survey mode. So right. does a delay pull? Delay. Yeah, he has given very, very, very quick injection here. Mm -hmm. Unlike the first case. So these tricks we have developed in our place. You know, uh, yeah. with this, uh, here he has so given quick injection. But your check is a. Uh, It's not automatic pullback. See? There's a manual pullback, right? TJ. Yeah. There's no. a manual pullback. No, not manual. It's automatic. Yeah. Automatic? Yeah. Automatic. Always automatic. 
heavy calcium. So I think uh, my prediction was wrong. There is uh, beyond uh, calcium and around there is a lot of fat also. Yeah. So yeah, it's a very bad mixed plaque. In areas of, of the plaque, you, uh, the segment you may see that it is a healed plaque, calcium, all those things. And with calcium also at some places you see TCFA, thin cap fibroethroma. So although it is calcified, it is a pretty unstable type of uh, thing. And you can see small, 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 small areas of crack and that is very typical. With uh, balloon you see bigger blocks which are seen at some places but most of the places you see small areas of crack. And uh, yeah, now again ju just manually show that uh, just quickly. Go, go, go. The calcium is not cracked yet, right? The calcium nah, is still it, it, it says The calcium has cracked with rota. You can see those small, small cracks there. Uh, and yeah, you have right seen here. balloon, yes, balloon, balloon crack, crack also, yes. yeah. Balloon will give balloon big crack. cracks. Balloon will give big cracks. Yeah, yeah. But there are, uh, doesn't seem to pick calcium. And there the, is a TCFA the the, uh, associated TCFA along with calcium. Go. This is uh, there are good number, good amount of fat in yeah. certain area. So it is an unstable plaque. It is an unstable plaque. Mm. Anyways, now 2.5 millimeter lithotripsy. Yeah catheter we, we create make re, make it ready quickly ivl we will do hello sir uh, my question to the dr tejesh patel and uh, all other panelists that uh, use of uh, NC balloon or scoring uh, cutting after rota could we use OPN balloon? Uh, it's also available in our country in Bangladesh as well. Yeah, o OPN balloon is for very high pressure dilatation. Uh, it is good at certain place, but uh, but you have to be careful because our arteries, you know, the perforation rate is, I think. Uh, 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 what the literature mentions, which is most of the literature is Western world literature, the perforation rate is higher. So uh, we have to be careful about it. But yes, OPN is a, is a good balloon, uh, and uh, in selected situation, it can work very well. What's the highest for OPN, TJ? Huh? OPN balloon. What's the highest atmosphere we can do? It? Forty, fifty. At I least, I think 40. I uh, think 40, right? OPN 40. 35. F 45. RB, rate, rated bird spacer is 35. So I have gone up to 34, 35 a couple of times or maybe few more times. But uh, I will select the case for that. The nodule, if I see calcific nodule which is not breaking, and if the calcific nodule on IVAS, if I see that the calcific nodule is on the pericardial, I mean is on the myocardial side, I will have my reservation going very high. But if calcific nodule is on the pericardial side, you know, uh, and you can crack uh, it you, high. You can uh, crack it. Yeah, you can do. In terms of IVL, you, you, how you size the balloon, TJ? This vessel. Initially, it looked to me even to lesser than 2.5, but after you know uh, doing preparation, it is around 2.5. So I don't oversize the, the IVL balloon. I will try to keep it as near to the vessel size as possible. One to one. One to one. And here you have to make sure you aspirate that balloon very well, so there's no possibility yeah. of bubbles, so you can yeah, transmit that, the that energy. Exactly, yes. that yes. is what no exactly bubble. is doing. Bubble so and IVL it does not work well, right? You got to make sure you aspirate well, so no, no. And there's a challenge to get the IVL balloon down in this uh, vessel too. Yeah. What do you think, Mauricio? No, I agree. I mean, that's a high-profile device, and, and you know, yeah. I mean, it's it's meant to to be in calcified vessels, but those calcified vessels usually don't allow 
I mean, what we do is we put a stopcock there to do the aspiration and aspirate two or three times mm. uh, when you connect there. Instead of connecting directly to the to the to the hub of the of the balloon, we put a stopcock. Okay, that's a good suggestion. Very good. That's a good suggestion. I mean, when we see the OCT catheter, is uh, not going down easily. So I'm not surprised the IVL balloon may yeah. have a little bit challenge. Yeah, charge. because the OCT is a very low profile, mm -hmm. it's a low profile yeah. device. Yeah, yeah but if OCT catheter goes in, I think most of the things should go in. Should go in. Yeah, yeah. Because it is a very, very delicate catheter. Going, you know, OCT catheter going to this sort of calcific segment, I'm sure, that the, you know, uh, IVL catheter should not have problem. Let me see. There are 80 pulses, so we have to use them, you know, very judiciously. Sanjay, what do you think about this catheter? Will it go or it will give us hard time? Sanjay is, uh, is already giving his prediction, it will go. <laughs> okay, Sanjay go to epicranial. epicranial. He speaks very less, but it's he already speaks, going. He he speaks very ma meaning, meaningful, absolutely. Yeah. Right. yeah, he's a minimalist in the way he speaks. But he speaks the truth. Now it's he is favorite of John Capola and Ta Kwan. <laughs> you know? So, so, so Sanjay's prediction was, uh, was right. Minimalist uh, talkers. Yes. I, 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 yeah. never so pet, I never pet with him. So, so you take these to four atmospheres, right? And then you start activating. Yes. And then you press the button and then you have 80 pulses uh, that you can use. Uh, and six. each time it will deliver 10 six pulses. Six and then the fade, right? This is the you way still you have a waste there on the balloon, huh? Yeah, yes. you need to do you more. Give it again. Do it, hit Ten again. more. This is probably, this is the toughest area. Mm. Yeah, and you're taking these to four. Uh, the manufacturer tells you that you should do it at four atmospheres. And I mean, then we are going up to six. six yes. Yeah, you can go to six. You can go more because this is a resilient balloon. And six. now you're applying the... You can go to eight. And eight. then it's important to also okay, show... Okay, fine. This fine. looks better. Yeah. Record. It's also important to show the EKG because sometimes uh, the energy will make the heart uh, capture. Go. <laughs> yeah, you see the spikes there when you are... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, show the EKG once it starts. Yeah. Just show that. Yeah, we're looking at the EKG now, and, and there yes, you see there the There are spot. few VPCs also, yeah. Done. Very nice. Six. That looks better Six. there, Tejas. Looks good here. Yeah. Go. Okay. It is moving like a regular balloon. It means that uh, things will be fine. Yeah, and the, yeah, the vessel is well prepared. Here you have a little bit of a waste still. Yeah, yeah. Uh, only four, but if you go to six, let's see. Six, eight. Eight. You got eight? Do I see air in that balloon? Yeah, there is a little bit of air this time. Oh my God. <laughs> you don't like to see that? Jesus Christ. You don't. Hey. You don't get the hair out. Okay, again, 10 here. We have four more cycles. There are, yeah, four more cycles. This looks good. Looks good, yeah. Yes. It's a four, looks good already. So how many atmosphere you go with this balloon, maximum? I, I go to eight, eight. maximum. Eight. Yeah. eight. Record and deflate, wait now. Record current and wait. Uh, no. Now come to epicordal, please. How many pulses you have left? 30. 30. 30. Oh, I would, 30. I would, I would do it. I would Three do cycle. the third. I mean, I would do the whole day. The whole thing? Yeah, the Go. whole thing. Go. You don't want to leave anything behind. Yeah. <laughs> it's a free, right? Yeah. Now we'll finish 80. Because the, every it's pulse is very purple, precious. Right? Yeah. yeah. How many times you have faced no reflow after IVL therapy immediately? Well, my experience is limited here, but uh, oh, so. with IVL, but I haven't seen an overflow after IVL, at least okay. in my limited experience. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Me too. Uh -huh. I did not have any, uh -huh. I no reflow for IVL.
Like, do you use this in uh, in the in the in the periphery in Six. the? Yes. And then uh, the, the other, the yeah. other well, works yeah. well. Uh, the, but the, the, I, mean, so. I mean, you know, just talking about IVL. So what we found, yes. oh. uh, you know, translating this technology to the structural world is uh, that uh, we have used IVL in the iliacs to facilitate no. um, femoral access uh, for tavern. Yes, yes. So, so it's very useful. I mean, this is a very useful technology for the Marching iliacs easy, yeah. when you are trying to facilitate access for tavern. You work Marching. really well. Correct. So what size of yeah. balloon? Yeah. The, what size of balloon for yeah, iliacs? Full? Yeah, we use a we five. I've seen five or six. We have seven. On the, on the, uh, or seven. Yeah. Seven. Seven, yeah. Because you need a minimum diameter mm -hmm. of 5.5. Uh, of yes. Now they make an eight, maximum yeah. eight. But seven works oh, well. Yeah, seven, and, you know, depending on the size of the vessel as well, but yes. And then you crack the calcium, and that allows uh, the device, the tower yeah. device, to there go. Is. Yeah. And so that's much better than doing alternative access. So, Mauricio, they, there's a study the, for IVL for aortic stenosis. Oh, you heard about that? Good. For AS? One more OCT. There's, I'm sorry? That's an IVL so. study for aortic OCT stenosis. Uh, for valvuloplasty, you mean, right? Yes, correct. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tak, yes. I will request you to go and scrub in that lab yes. because now I do one OCT run, stand and another OCT run. So I will be done within five or ten minutes, hopefully. So this is looking very good, Tejas. Yes. I mean, there's, right. a, there's little areas of dissection that you will cover with stents, but uh, this is looking very good. I mean, the, the, I mean the, the, the lumen of the vessel is much larger now. Yes. AOP cordal, please. Another thing I do is at times there is some resistance. So like the loop, there is a distal loop. So I will hold both wire and uh, OCT catheter together and push. And then it goes more easily and smoothly. I pull the wire back, again do the same thing. And the catheter. yeah, I go to AP cranial now. I think it's okay. Beautiful. Yeah, okay. Little, little more. Little more. Yes. Still. I think it oh, is okay. okay. Go to AP cordal now. Okay. Go to AP cordal. I need to see the guide catheter. I am always worried about guide catheter in calcified arteries because many of the guide catheter dissections have can hap have happened actually in initial part. Yeah. Okay. This is fine. Again, survey mode. He is injecting even beforehand to get this view. First class. First class. It's a clean one. Eh? Perfect. There is a big chunk of calcium in one area at around 15. Yeah, huge. So almost like a calcific nodule. I think we have created a great uh, bed for the stand to be deployed. Yeah. Calcium breakage, beautiful. Now, uh, my question to you guys is one stand long or two short uh, uh, medium level stands? What? Proximal and distal landing zone we decide first. Uh, this looks okay to me. There is calcium, but it is okay. Most of the area looks good. Uh -huh. Just after diagonal. Just after diagonal, okay. Fine. I think two stands will be better. Mm. Yeah. Short. That is a safe strategy actually. Yeah, it will make your life a lot easier. I agree, I agree. And there is no point in uh, uh, showing off. Ultimately, we should be concerned with end result. But here, if I deploy two stands, I will observe the o junction with at OCT in that area approximately. Where does 
you know, there, where, where will there be two overlapping areas? Because that is very important. Length ke liye, yes. Pouch proximal nathi aayu na? Hai na? So, so we are taking onyx. The first onyx I will take is 28. And then we will take a call. And ju just show me the, uh, uh, the area is 6.19. There, uh, uh, in the uh, proximal part, and the distal, uh, uh, 5.18, okay. 5.18, and the, and the distal, 2. So you're, take, you're taking an onyx, what's the diameter? So the onyx come 26 and 30. Distally? 20, so yeah, sorry, that's what, 26 or 30, yeah, uh, or 34, but the 26, really? 26, 26 will be better choice. And what diameter, 2.5? 2.5 will dissect distally, because distal, uh, uh, you know, it's diameter right. looks to be around 2. I agree. So and onyx expands much beyond your expectation, so I will be careful. So these are the things, uh, you know, the property of uh, the balloon of the stent is so important. If like I was using, uh, uh, you know, Alpine or Expedition, I won't mind taking 2.5, but here I will take 2.25. And that also will give negative residual. We will see. We will take 2.25 by... There is a little distal angiographic dissection there, so the landing zone is going to be the right distal to that dissection. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. After that, that and yeah, 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 that's right. There is some normal segment. We'll do, do it there. It is not even. It is hardly two, but I'll take two point twenty-five. Twenty-six. Okay. Sir, any reason to select uh, onyx? Onyx is a very trackable stand uh, in the calcium particularly. If in the calcium, uh, extremely tortuous segment, uh, you, uh, if I feel I have to go, or if a very heavily calcified long segment, then I will choose a stand which has a good confirmability and trackability. So my choice either will be Onyx or I may take Cruise. Cruise is one stand which goes anywhere and everywhere. Of course, the ra it is at the always a trackability is always at the cost of radial strength. You know, confirmably in trackability. So that part there is some trade off there, but fine. So the onyx is a very good stand. It's not laser cut. These are welded uh, crowns, yeah. and then the welding goes spiral. So it has a very good uh, um, radial force, and that Look navigates here. very nicely. I am struggling here. Yeah. Uh, there was probably, yes. it was uh, getting uh, little a more. little more. Yes. Okay. If you like, you can instruct, you just inject. Little yeah, that shows the properties of the stand because it's some rounded, it's rounded metal, so that's why it doesn't get stuck like a laser cut that slotted tube. Okay. Okay, fine. Go. Here, go on 10. Okay. Maybe 12 maximum. 12. This looks mm. good. Deflate. High pressure. Like mm. This balloon, Sanjay, high pressure will not work much. Okay. But anyways, okay. go, go, 20. Chal. It will expand too much. See? It looks like 2.5. Mm. <laughs> okay. Size also will take. Go here, 20. Size like Give heart, size like each other. So how do you estimate the lesion length, uh, Tejas? Mm. Pardon? How do you estimate the lesion length? Lesion length I have estimated on uh, uh, OCT. OCT. It was almost 53, 54. So here you have 26 and 26, it's 52. And then I may take 30, 30 because 30. yeah, I will yeah. take 30. Epicordal. Just and have you identified the safe landing zone uh, approximately? Yeah. Safe landing zone, uh, we have identified there is little calcium and otherwise normal. Uh, the complete normal segment we are not able to find in this artery. So Correct. the second choice is uh, most of the normal segment and no fat. The third choice is a good amount of fibrosis, little normal segment and little calcium. And, the, and then 
you know, if I don't find that, I will deploy even in calcium, but I will make sure that I don't deploy my stent at, uh, in the fat. Again, Dr. Akasaka's seminal work from his institute, uh, landing in the fat, proximal or distal, very high risk stenosis, age stenosis. Proximal APD? No, no, go with Okay, go. We might have to use the third one also, but let me see. I want the OCT to be seen completely white. Yeah, the expansion module. Okay. So it looks like you'll need a 30 millimeter stand, 30 to 34 millimeter stand, huh? We may have to use uh, another one in the proximal part. So here, I, I will use 30 first. Okay. 2.5. Again 2.5. Proximally, we may use 3 or 2.3. Yeah. Uh -huh. 2.5 by 30 onyx. Yes. Ah, patient is stable, the ECG changes are also settled. I am happy. I am happy. Cranial. A very, very little overlap, not yeah, much. You have huh? excellent floor and you can see the, the stands very well. Is That's that all right? Thanks. Go. Go. 15. 15? Well, the vessel good. is so diffusely diseased yeah. that you don't really know where, where to stop, huh? Yeah, and that they, see that is a problem. Go to AP caudal, and sometimes you know you go at 30, 34, 35, and suddenly the lesion opens up, and that gives me a lot of heartburns because many times it is perforation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we we can uh, do an OCT assessment, and we have to. Uh, we have already done uh, lithotripsy there, right? Let us check it. I mean, you can post dilate ah. the proximal part of the stand with a 3O by 6 balloon, like non compliant balloon or something like that. Hydroilo, lesion. You all? Okay. You want to check it? AP cranial, what do you know? Are you guys tired? Because the dark coin is going to show a beautiful case, the last one before lunch. We're never tired. No. Yeah. We're full of enthusiasm. What are you 20 lios. I think so. 22. 22. 22. 22. 3 by 22. Yes. So you're going to go all, almost all the way back to the very proximal. Yes. Yeah. Because there is no choice with us, uh, Mauricio. It's very diffusely diseased. Yeah. And we are, we are in the habit of doing angiograms after one year in this type of cases and all the left main bifurcations. And after sure. Sure. imaging, you know, usage of imaging so frequently, I have seen one thing that uh, Things are much better as far as the long-term outcome is concerned. You get so for a left main, when do you do a, your routine check angiogram? 
you routine check angiogram for not in regular cases fazila but uh, 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 the like uh, cases which are very high risk for restenosis or otherwise high risk like left main bifurcation left main ostium right ostium or some very complicated stuff or like a diffuse disease like this where we have done multiple stenting the previous case dr saito showed again we will uh, do a check angiogram this evening and then after some time we'll call and again see what happens to that hematoma because if you don't document you don't realize what is going on scout okay yes, yes, this looks good perfect yes. java 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 15 Fifteen. Yes. Looks nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, go to AP cranial. Let me go in with this balloon if I can. I would advance uh, the balloon a little bit. There's an area that looks a little bit under expanded at least under. That is what I'm doing. That's what he's doing right yeah. now, Mauricio. Go. Yeah, that's perfect. Go. Yeah. Go. go. Twelve. I want these struts to be in media actually. You know, that <laughs> then you are safe. Go ten, ten, twelve. That's ten. it. This balloon is a, almost like a compliant balloon. That's a problem, but that's okay. Go here, last. Ten, ten, ten. ten. Not more than ten. So that's ten. a pretty thorough job of post dilatation. Yeah. And maybe we can have a look with your yeah. OCT again. That's what last last injection of OCT will be done then. Yeah. Because then only we realize what we have done. Inject. Hmm. Oh. Look at this. Uh, looks magnificent. Uh, now we'll do OCT and hand over the talk. Uh, you know the case. And okay. there's also pre I mean the good thing about this is that you have a bunch of septals there that are preserved. Again, uh, you know there is a myth. Nothing goes wrong to those small arteries most of the time. I have seen. <laughs> Look, no. there's a bunch of diagonals, bunch of uh, septals. Uh, everything is flowing well. Go to yeah. epicordal now. And with uh, onyx, usually you do not have side branch loss. Usually the side branch get preserved. Yeah. In Miami, that's our default stand. I think uh, Samir has a different experience. Samir, ca if he can s uh, s stand up and speak about his experience, because I also had the same impression as of now. So every... It is always important to discuss, you know, the, the, the property of the product. Yeah, Every I think for mini crush, you know, lately we've, we, we, we've had some, some trouble with uh, crossing into the side branch with balloons. Wires go fine, but balloons have fought us. It's a new trend, so I don't know if there is a change in structure with the Onyx Frontier stent or is it something else? Because we had a change in our Onyx stent. We get the onyx frontier now, so uh, but it is noticeable, uh, significant problem. So maybe there is a structural change. Must be right. Did you ask the vendors whether there was any change in the design or anything? Only for the better. That was the answer. <laughs> yeah, well, the stand doesn't change. What changes is the delivery system. That's what they claim. So, I mean, it's still the same stent on the different, um, I mean, they change the, the crossability okay. and the profile mm -hmm. of the balloon. Again, that maybe. This yeah, getting stuck in a strut there. Yeah. I will just uh, try to do something with my guide catheter. Go to, again, go to RAO portal. Let me see. No, this is not a good view. Go to uh, LAO portal. Okay, this is, uh, yeah, wait, I'll pull it back and try to push, go together, not going, hmm. should go, should yeah. go, Take yes. Again the same thing, again I will do some, some, 
Oh, if it doesn't work, I don't know. No. Pull everything back and go again. Hmm. It went little. Turning is level. Uh, uh. Constant pressure. No, it's not working. Any suggestion? Uh, ha, ha, John. No, then what I will do is I will hand over this thing to Tak or oh, it has gone. gone. Hopefully. Gone, gone. And then I will struggle here. Do you think uh, changing the catheter, I mean that would be very expensive, yeah, that uh, use a new catheter? Always, yeah, that always works, by <laughs> and large. So the other thing you can do is uh, maybe bring the wire back the… Which you do uh, and push with the catheter. Yeah, bring that the wire back That is what I am doing go, every time. Yeah, and go, yeah right there you go. Bring the wire back. Sometimes That's what I am doing every time. Yeah. yeah. Going Yay. through the floppy part of the wire because you're getting wire bias and it's, uh, it's, it's pushing you to the struts. I think enough from here. It's okay. I think it looks yeah. fantastic. Go. Go to epicranial. Let Sanjay let it Let it uh, be here yeah. because we will… Yeah. No, no, no. We I have to, to, I have to adjust. No, go to go. We will do that. We will do that. You still have lots of stent to go on to cover. Another oh, no, thing is you if you post dilate the proximal part of your stent uh, with a it's larger enough. size balloon, very small, it like is six okay balloons. if I miss the distal area because most of the area let me have. Okay. Yeah, go. Okay. He is giving quick injection here. Sure, sure. Go. Okay, pressure, pressure. Pressure is on. I poach it. Catheter card is on. Distal part, yeah, this looks good expansion and a position. Hopefully. Look at this. Yeah. In calcified, mm -hmm. this type of diffusely calcified segments, I have seen one thing Catering. that there may be lot of, uh, t uh, you know, tissue prolapse and other things and uh, like this is one area which is little bit under expanded but you know, in, uh, you know, we know in view of overall situation uh, of the thing, I will, I will not touch it because then if you be after that area, there are good chances that you so will perform it. So, 5% angle, ah, yeah. not the total arc. <laughs> yeah. But there is a dissection proximally. Uh, now let us see the character of that dissection. Come, 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 come. Okay, so this is a medial dissection, 60 degree, borderline sort of 60 degree, not exactly. The length is not that much, uh, length is little. What will you do? It's proximal. What will you do? I would probably leave it alone and let it heal. I think so. I think so. Because, because, where is the mouth of the dissection? It is towards the stent or it is away from the stent? It's uh, under the stent, I think. Yeah. So, no problem. No problem. Out. Uh, over to target. Let us say uh, maybe one view and... Uh, would you put, I mean, there's an area there in, in, in the stents, I think. Uh, would you go back with a 6 millimeter balloon, non-compliant, and post-dilate? Uh, no, because I, I'm afraid that I will perforate if I go very high. So I'm resisting my temptation doing that. Nice. I'm happy with this, this result, and better is enemy of good. So I'm very happy <laughs> with this result. Uh -huh. And... Uh, we will uh, quit at this stage. So over to uh, Takwan and uh, thank you very much. Go to. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you.